It's Nick and Alex back again today. Back again today on Tuesday, 10th of July. Today we're having a look at Zoom Into 1210 Alpha 2. Yes, it's the Alpha 2. And you're saying, are you sure? I'll say, yes, it is Alpha 2. Because you can tell, for some good reason, the icons are slightly different, the fonts are slightly different, and certain things are slightly different. Now, I've installed this to the hard drive, of course, but <clears throat> you will notice some things are a little bit different. Like, because it's an Alpha, the installer just don't look right. It's just graphically, it's just not right at all whatsoever. No, it is not. It is, it is horrible. But it works, and you get it installed. Hunky you doy. There was nearly 300 updates to do once I installed it. Because remember, it was released last week, I think it was. <clears throat> so I've had a bit about a couple of days off, and I so... Yes, so yes, nicey, nicey. I've used it for a little while now. Seems okie cokey. I've had no crashes personally, okay. But of course, it's using XFC, and of course, it's Zubuntu, and we're using 4.10.0. Yee Yeah, there we go. So, yes, yeah, all that. Okay, I'm going to quickly look through it with you. There's not much difference. The Zubuntu way of doing things is a little bit different from the others, basically. They're trying to keep it run of the mill, stable, but with little nibbles and nobbles, say, like the fonts and the icons, that's going to be a little bit different. Although there are some new programs installed so far, but bearing in mind, it's an alpha, it's going to be a little while yet, okay? So, anyway, there's the usual bar. I've got two desktops. I've not put any extras in there. I can do if I want to, shall I? You know what? Why not? So if we go to panel, add new items. Let's put a CPU graph in. Add. Okay. There we go. CPU graph right at the end there. You can see what we're hunky dorily doing. Lovely. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Sound works out of the box straight away as well. Wee, same as last time. I remember when I first used Ubuntu, Stroke Ubuntu, all the others, right? Time, time, time again. I keep reconfiguring the sound, and then people had trouble with wise drivers. This is going back years. Now we no longer have these problems, okay? Which is nice. Although some people still moan. Applications menu. Don't look no different, because it is no different. But the icons, is that one changed slightly, or is that me? Probably me, that one, okay? You get the usual run of meal stuff here, look. A plan application finder, archive manager, character map, file manager, it's all there. Screenshot, the terminal, XF, uh, under games, usual games, under graphics, well, one big difference here, you do get Gimpy 2.80. Ooh, yeah, 2 Gimpy, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8. There you go, comes out nice and quick. It looks nice and different as well, and that's what I like. That's really, really good. Super Redupy, done out of the box. Okay. <clears throat> Under internet, of course, it's Firefox, Pigeon, Thunderbird transmission. There's no difference. The kernel is a 3.5 series, by the way. These are new kernel. Yes, it did, yes, it Under Office, you just get Abbey Word. Let's see what version of Abbey Word it's going to use. 4.12.10. Because I've not read much into it. Now, this is where some of the problems come. We had this in, shall we say, the installer. So, it still works. But it just needs a bit of work. But that's why it's an alpha. Do you know what I'm saying? So it is 292, so I can live with that. If you go to documents, it's the same there. Can you see what I mean? We had this problem a while ago as well with some others. Even in a, in a proper release, by the way, that was. But this is not too bad because it's an alpha, so I'm not too worried too much. All right. Okie dokie. And the system is the usual. So we'll get to a task manager. I shouldn't have to because the CPU graph is up there. But as you can see, Hunkily after Dory. Nice, isn't it? Not using anything. Nice and low memory usage, though. Look. 6% of the gig I have give it. Nice. Lovely. Of the chaplet. Okay. I'll quickly go through the bar. Nothing's changed too much here for you. This looks really stable. I wouldn't say use it on the main system yet. If you're really, really eager, wait till a beta comes out. Then it, it will break sometimes, but if you want to be there and get the run of your stuff, you know, the super duper stuff, that's what you're going to have to do. So I'll open the web browser up. So, of course, it's going to be the Fox. Remember, no flash is installed by default. So I'll go to the public here. A quick look, nice and quick, look at that. And again, nice and quick. I'm really liking Super Duper. All comes up all right. Of course, it ain't going to play any videos for us, so yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I'll quickly put in Zubuntu. I'll go to there, go to the home page, and you can have a quick look. As you can see, Alpha 2 is released, and that's what we've got here. You can download it and try it yourself if you want to. But in all honesty, not much has changed there, just fixing bugs and stuff like that. If you want to get involved, get in contact with the community, I'm trying to do some stuff myself, but it's just so hard getting time to do stuff, etc, etc, etc. But on the whole, Zubuntu 12.10, Alpha 2, very good. I think when it is actually released eventually into the wild, we should have a nice release. Hopefully, hopefully even a nice stable one. But XFC and Zubuntu normally are, I don't normally get too many problems. So yeah, that's all I can show you. Alpha 2, Zubuntu, 12.10. Sneaky, off the, the next, going out. Ladies, 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 ladies.